and welcome to my channel. In today's video, I'll do a quick unboxing of a couple of items that I picked up from the Coach store today. I've been looking on the Coach website recently and had seen a bag that I was interested in, but knew that it was probably a size that was smaller than what I typically carry, and so while I was nearby a Coach store today, I decided to go ahead and hop on in so I could see the bag in person. But before I hop into unboxing what I got, I want to take a moment to first of all to say thank you for watching my video. I hope you enjoy it. If so, be sure to subscribe if you're not already so you can check out more of my videos on fashion, beauty, sometimes home decor, etc. But now let's go ahead and jump right into what I got. So I did pick up a bag which she gift wrapped in here for me and I also picked up an accessory which is in here. And I do want to go ahead and just talk for a minute about the packaging. I really do like the packaging that they have right now, especially for spring. Um, the, both the gift bag and the box are a nice heavy duty black um, and the box, you know, feels pretty, pretty sturdy, um, pretty good quality cardboard. And then I really like this kind of blush pink ribbon that they're using for spring to decorate the boxes with. I feel like Coach has really stepped up their packaging over the last couple of years. Um, makes it definitely feel a little bit more high-end than some of the packaging that they've had in the past. I know I got a couple of pairs of shoes uh, back before the holiday time and the way they, those came packaged, the shoe boxes and kind of the dust bags that came for each, the left and the right shoe, it was all very, very nice. So I do think they're doing a great job on the packaging. So first, I'll just go ahead and unbox my accessory, um, just because this is probably going to take the least amount of time to show. So the box is very nice with the magnetic closure, and you can see how it looks inside. And what I got is the Mini Skinny ID Wallet. And I got it in this floral pattern. And the color specifically is Beechwood Floral in Bloom Light Gold. Um, I have another one of these. It's actually the wallet that I've been carrying most recently in a teal. Um, and I just love carrying a nice small wallet um, and just thought that this was cute and it was a little bit lighter and a little bit more fun. So I just thought it would be fun to get um, to start wearing with both the bag that I got today, but then just also um, the summer in general. And if you're not familiar with the Mini Skinny ID case, um, basically it's got a gusseted compartment that has a key ring on it. Um, I don't uh, typically attach a key, so I just always keep that tucked in, but you can keep cash and coins and things in there, not a lot of course. And on the back it's got the ID slot where you can keep your driver's license or whatever um, so you don't have to take it out and then it's got one more slide for a card or whatever there and then another one along here. So it's great for if you just have you know like three or four different cards that you need to carry and maybe just minimal cash and change because you can keep it in there. Um, and this does retail for $50. It comes in another floral color in, um, I believe, chalk, which is kind of a whitish color with the floral bloom. And then, of course, it comes in several other more spring-appropriate colors, too, and just solid leather. All right, so now let's go ahead and jump into the bag that I got. And, of course, you probably already know what this bag is if you clicked on this video or saw the thumbnail. Um, but the bag is the Bowery Crossbody Bag with the T-Rose Clasp. So as I get in, here is the bag in kind of a silk-ish type drawstring pouch. Here is the bag, and this is in the color Peony. It also comes in the color Chalk, which once again is kind of a white, um, slightly off-white, but still pretty white colored bag. And this bag is just trimmed out so, so nicely. So it is pretty small. It's even a little bit smaller than I was thinking it was when I looked at it online and tried to measure it out by, based on uh, the measurements online, but I always find that that's kind of hard to tell. Um, but because it's just so well made and has such nice detailing, I decided I would figure out how to make it work even though it doesn't quite fit what I normally like to carry when I'm carrying a bag like this but it has this beautiful turn lock with this rose detail 
And so you can just open it up. Then of course this has the beautiful scalloped edge right there. And then it's also got a slip pocket in the back. And then it's got the metal hang tag all in the brass color to match the T-Rose turn lock on the front. Then when you open it up, it's got this darker kind of cordovan or oxblood color, which I think complements this blush or peony as they're calling it color really nicely. And then in terms of a strap, it does have a chain strap. Now this strap gives you several different options for how you can wear it. So the way she has it hooked right now allows you to wear it basically um, as a shoulder bag. And you can see how it hangs as a shoulder bag. So it makes it a little bit more evening type of a feel. But then it's got a couple of these kind of hook closures which allow you to change it up from that double chain strap um, so I just undid that, and then let's see if I can figure out. I pull this through on this side, and slip that in, and pull that through on that side. Then you also have a nice long strap with a 22 inch drop that you can wear either as a long shoulder bag or crossbody, which is really the reason I was so interested in this bag. So on the inside of the bag, it is a nice open compartment with one slip pocket in the back. Although quite frankly, it's so small on the inside I don't really know that you need a slip pocket except maybe to stick some receipts or something. But this is um, in leather, but actually down into the bag itself, it does have um, fabric lining that slip pocket and then it's leather on this side as well. So the bag measures seven inches long by five inches high and then three inches deep. And so because this bag is considerably smaller than a lot of the bags that I like to carry on the weekend, I wasn't too sure how my things were going to fit, which is why I did actually hop into the coach store because I thought it would just be easier to see it in person rather than order it and potentially have to return it. And um, so I did go into the coach store and took the stuff out of the bag that I was carrying and did put it in here. And so what I discovered is I can get most of the things that I like to carry on the weekends in this bag, but not everything. So I'll go ahead and show you what I decided I could easily fit in this bag and probably how I will carry it when I am um, taking it out for just kind of a regular weekend. So like say run errands, you know, maybe not like when I'm going out in the evening or something, but just kind of as a everyday weekend bag. So first of all, I just can stick my keys down in there and those just kind of go down at the bottom. And then my wallet, which I will switch out of this into the new one probably here after the video, but just for the sake of the video, uh, go ahead and stick that in kind of tall wise. And then my breath mints, which I always carry. I know I could downsize to a smaller container for this, but I, I just like to keep life simple, so have that in there. Then my lipstick, which is the color that I'm wearing today, I just typically on the weekend will put whatever lipstick that I'm wearing for the day in my bag and just change it out kind of each morning. And then my phone, which is the six, but it's not in the plus size. And so it does fit in the bag just fine. Um, you probably could get a plus in here if it didn't have a bulky case on. Um, I do have a little bit, uh, you know, maybe an extra half inch or so of, of room, but definitely at this point it's starting to get pretty full. Um, so I can't fit a lot more in here. Now, something that I like to be able to take is I do like to actually be able to carry my coin purse, which um, I just like like this coin purse, which is why I carry it separately. Um, even though I could put my cash 
and coins in the wallet. Um, this is just something that makes me happy to have, and so I do just like to carry it, but it won't fit in here with all this other stuff. So I will have to make the sacrifice and not carry that when I'm gonna carry this bag. Now, one thing I did try out just to see was whether or not I could get my phone in this back slip pocket. And it does technically fit. However, it's very tight and it, you know, definitely leaves a little bit of a bulge. So I might do this if I need my phone for easy access, um, you know, for just a particular small length of time when I'm out with this bag, but I probably won't just carry my phone in that slip pocket just because I don't want to stretch that out or leave any kind of bulge. So I will keep it on the inside most of the time. So this bag does retail for $250, which I think based on other coach bags, I think is a pretty good price for a bag this size with the amount of detailing, hardware, etc. Um, the leather is a very nice, smooth leather. It's a refined calf leather. This is a pretty decent quality bag for the price of $250, I feel like, even though it is pretty small. I do feel like it's uh, got some good details that help justify that price. Now, I did also look at the Parker bag, which is similar in shape to this bag and it also has the chain strap and some of the Parker bags have the T-Rose turn lock closure as well. Um, but that bag was a little bit bigger than what I felt like looked good on my frame to be able to carry it crossbody and it was more expensive and it came in some different variations of leather and trims and things and there was actually a really beautiful one um, that was uh, snakeskin trimmed and actually uh, one of the people that commented on a previous video mentioned that she had gotten that one and so when I went and looked at that one in the store that was beautiful but for what I was looking for um, I did feel like that bag was maybe not quite what I was looking for that this one worked a little bit better so ideally they would have had something in between the two sizes but I decided to go ahead and give this one a go. So I'll go ahead and insert a couple of modeling shots so you can see how this bag hangs on my body, both just on the shoulder, cross body, and then I'll also just go ahead and show it with the straps doubled again. So there's my haul of my two new items from the Coach store. Have you picked up any new items from Coach recently? If so, I'd love to hear what you got. Go ahead and leave me a comment down below. Otherwise, if you enjoyed my video, please give me a thumbs up. It really makes me feel good to know that people are enjoying what I'm sharing and putting time into putting out there with the rest of the world. If you haven't subscribed already, please also consider that. And until next time, bye.